Hello, my name is Rob Jamison, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Ontario Provincial Police Association. I'm speaking to you today on behalf of the Board of Directors to give you an update on your association. When I first came into this office, there were a number of large issues that we had to deal with. Contract negotiations, benefits enhancements, all of which through solid team effort have been resolved successfully. We are continuing to focus on areas of equal importance even while this was going on, such as scheduling, staffing, and grievance resolutions. Recently, we met with Mr. Justice Tulloch, uh, who's in the process of reviewing the Police Services Act and the Special Investigations Unit in all areas of police accountability. A couple of areas of concern that we raised to him was that we were very concerned at the length of time it takes for the Special Investigations Unit to get back to our members with an investigative outcome. In some cases, some of our members are waiting up to 15 months to find out whether they're going to be charged criminally or not. And to us, that's unacceptable. Another area of concern with regards to the Special Investigations Unit is the potential, and in, in we've made this very clear to Mr. Justice Tulloch, of having officers' names released as a result of an investigative um, outcome. We find this incredibly uh, troubling uh, because we believe that it will, it will seriously affect officer safety. With the establishment of the Northern Issues Committee, chaired by Deputy Couture and John Cherasolo, one of the directors of the OPP Association, we are putting all issues that affect Northern members on the table for discussion. A recent success story where Northern issues have been discussed and advocated for is the clustering of Thunder Bay Detachment and Armstrong Detachment. I recently had the privilege and pleasure of working a uniform shift in Thunder Bay Armstrong Detachment last month, and I saw the issues facing our members firsthand. and we've just entered into strategic planning. I'm very excited about this process that's occurring. It will help rebuild the association and create a foundation for future success. Essentially what we're doing is creating a three to five year roadmap that ultimately makes us accountable to you, the member. And in closing, I'd like to thank our team, consisting of branch presidents and their executive and all the people that work at OPPA head office. As I travel the province, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. And in the meantime, to you and your families, take care and be safe.